let me ask you a question, and I want you to be honest. If it came down to the wire, do you know what it takes to survive the shock, fear, and stress of a violent attack? Krav Maga on one hand is extremely sophisticated, on the other hand, very simple. <laughs> dealing with weapons, dealing with uh, grabs, dealing with multiple opponents, dealing with uh, hostage situations, dealing with standing, moving, sitting on the ground, in confined areas, everywhere. The approach for Krav Maga is overall preparedness against any kind of attack. In a mixed martial arts fight, it's stand-up, it's ground fighting, there are rules. On the street, there are no rules. It takes you from zero to 60 faster than any other system I've ever seen. Or you could put it this way, that it brings you to a high level of proficiency quickly. That's what Krav Maga does. The Ultimate Krav Maga DVDs were developed for everybody. It doesn't matter if you've had no self-defense experience whatsoever, uh, whether you train in another self-defense system, or you're a current student of Krav Maga, beginner, intermediate, advanced, or you're a Krav Maga instructor, you will benefit from these DVDs. So let's recap. I've covered being more aware of your surroundings to prevent possible attacks, using objects in your environment within the law to aid us in self-defense, and we've introduced the important subject of movement. And we're not just gonna show you how to make an effective strike using your feet, hands, nope. elbows, or knees. You'll also be shown proper punching and kicking ranges and how to chain or link your strikes so that they flow smoothly and efficiently. And we will also address the important issue of gaps or dead space in our strikes, meaning that we need to ensure that as one punch is landing and recalling, another strike is on the way to the target. Krav Maga is not trained for competition or ring fighting. We are training to defeat one or more attackers who want to injure, rape, or in the worst case, kill us. Go. Time. Can I move around, Travis? Go. Time. Go. What was Travis doing? As he was striking the pad and recoiling, the second strike was delivered, eliminating the dead spaces or gaps. Headlock from behind, specifically a bar arm. The headlock comes on from behind. If I had time, I would tuck my chin early. Even before the headlock came on, if I realized he was here, relax your hands, if I realized the attack was coming, I would tuck my chin. I'm gonna assume right now that I don't have that time. I'm totally surprised, and this happens to me. From here, my hands are gonna to wanna to go where they feel pain. I make my hands like hooks, I pluck explosively. When you're training for a mixed martial arts fight, it's a totally different paradigm. You're training against somebody you know. You know how much he weighs. You know how much he's supposed to weigh. <laughs> you, you, know, you know what his style is, what his experience is. You've watched a video of him probably. And you get to prepare. You have two to three months to prepare for that fight. It's different. You, you get to work on a certain set of skills. You know the day and the time of your fight. If you know the day and the time of your fight, you can prepare for it. Krav Maga takes a different approach. You might not be attacked tomorrow, 
It might be a year from now, it might be two soon. It might be the day after you learn how to defend yourself. It might be a year after you stop training. Fights are messy, savage, and violent, period. Now, someone sucker punching you in the face or kicking you in the head when you're on the ground can be life-threatening and is brutal beyond imagination. However, when we talk about fighting, what do we think of? Boxing, karate, mixed martial arts like cage and other championship fighting? Now, these are violent sports that present violence in a realistic way. However, unlike most of us, these fighters are top athletes who have years of dedicated training and experience. Now, they are some of the world's toughest fighters and I have no doubt that most of them could survive an unarmed street attack. But remember, competition fights are governed by rules and time, enforced by a referee who can stop the fight. Now try to imagine what would happen if someone without this level of training is attacked at home or is involved in a fight on the street. Maybe there's more than one attacker. There are no rules. We have to do whatever it takes to survive. Now, thugs and criminals, by definition, don't live by our rules. So we need to train and mentally prepare for this eventuality by thinking outside the ring. Let's be brutally honest. No training can ever fully prepare us for the shock of a violent confrontation, particularly in a situation where we risk serious injury or death. This is where all of our awareness, movement, striking, self-defense training must come together and replicate these realities as close as possible. Remember, on the street, there are no rules. And unfortunately, we can't tap out. <laughs> I'm sure that uh, within the next few years, five to ten, Krav Maga will have uh, a strong foothold in all the sectors of self-defense, realistic self-defense and fighting skills whether for military, law enforcement, protection services, security services, and civilians. It is simple. Im used to say, everybody will come my way, meaning everybody would understand the necessity of the self-defense, defensive tactics, fighting skills, and will come in our way, because our way is to deal with realistic problems. <coughs> <coughs> what happens if the attacker is using the other hand while making the threat. Meaning he's pushing me. He's pushing me, he wants to send me somewhere to distance myself from him. So when he is doing that, I'm deflecting his push. Deflecting the push and sending my other hand for redirecting the line of fire. Warm-up is absolute key. If you don't have time to warm up for your activity, you don't have time to do your activity. Trunk rotation, punches, lunging, squatting, all involve the joints of the ankles, the knees, the hips, as well as the trunk. If the spine is moving freely, the muscles around the hips and the pelvis have to have the appropriate length as well as glide in order to prevent restriction in movement which will lead to repetitive stress injuries. The muscles in the chest wall close off the shoulder joints. In order to open up the chest and increase motion in the shoulders, a stretch where the elbows are pulled back, hands gently resting behind the neck can be performed with cervical extension to increase motion in the front of the neck. <laughs> 